we're facing the biggest environmental challenge ever. Our planet is warming up. To stop this, we need to save energy and reduce CO2 emissions. But what are traditional industries doing to fight climate change? Actually quite a lot. For example, industries that dry their products, like starch, bricks, and biosludge, work on recovering heat, which is now being wasted. To dry things, air is heated up, but after drying, warm air is released. This means the heat it still carries and the energy put into it is lost. Innovative heat pumps are needed to recycle this waste heat. This is what dry efficiency is demonstrating. Industrial heat pumps to recover waste heat. Maybe a heat pump is heating your house. Industrial heat pumps work the same way, but with much higher capacity and temperatures. First, waste heat vaporizes a working fluid, which actually carries the heat. Next, a compressor increases the pressure. This makes it really hot. The hot working fluid then heats up the air needed for drying and becomes liquid again. Starch, bricks, bio sludge, and many other things can be dried. Finally, the pressure is released and the working fluid cools down, ready to be warmed up again by waste heat. But this exciting new technology not only exists on paper. Argana will recover heat to dry starch for many applications, while Wienerberger will make drying of their bricks more sustainable, reducing the overall eco footprint of your house. And Scanship will reduce the energy needed for the drying processes of waste material such as bio sludge. After successful demonstration, the novel high temperature industrial heat pumps can be installed in many more industries to increase energy efficiency by up to 80%, reduce CO2 emissions by up to 70%, and help to limit global warming to 2 degrees Celsius. Dry efficiency is a 6.5 million euro innovation action funded under the European Commission's H2020 program. 13 partners from five European countries are represented in the project consortium. The project is coordinated by AIT, Austria. Dry efficiency, waste heat recovery, and industrial drying processes.